All right, so we got our uh, dirt and our fill dirt. That's what you see right here. On the other side is our uh, um, topsoil. Um, but yeah, so we got the fill dirt. And as you can see, we've been chipping away at it. Um, we are crazy and cheap. So we're trying to do as much of this by hand as we can. It might take a little bit longer, but you know, I got a few pounds to lose and it's good for us. Uh, we might end up um, going in on a rental with a neighbor and trying to, to get the rest of it. Um, but for now, we're just trying to get as much as we can done by hand. Um, so it's some tough work, but uh, I've done stuff like this in the past. Um, when I lived in St. George, that's what we did. We put in a uh, uh, basically a dry riverbed and we shoveled it all by hand and wheelbarrow. Took most of the summer. Actually, it was one of my duties and whatnot. So, um, yeah, <clears throat> it's not anything new to me. But uh, before anyone gets after me, I have been cleared um, by the doctor to be able to do more stuff. Um, so I am cleared to do stuff up to about 10 pounds. So shoveling rock and stuff like that is okay. And uh, I just need to use um, caution and use pain as my guide. So with that being said, we're gonna just let it run and kinda, yeah, go from there. So before, I'll show you real quick. We're filling the hole. See, there's our topsoil over there. But we're filling the hole, big old sink hole. And that's what we're filling with the uh, fill dirt. And then we'll put, oh, six inches to, we'll put about six inches to a uh, foot of a, uh, don't, don't play with that. It, there you go. I don't want you to get your fingers there. Anyway, put about six inches to a foot of uh, topsoil on top of it. Um, we don't plan on digging into this. If in the future we do, it's gonna kinda suck because as you can see, uh, there's some pretty decent sized rocks. But uh, yeah, so I'll just kinda let it run and uh, we'll go from there.
I want to show you guys something. First of all, this beautiful woman's working hard. I've been limited, and she's been doing a lot of stuff. And hey, Ow. you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Kids are playing around the rock pit here, and uh, fell. But anyway, um, but yeah, I want to show you this. So this right here, this is from our compost. This is our finer stuff that's pretty much ready to go in. And granite. There's some chunkiness to it still. But uh, anyway, there's still a little bit of chunkiness, but this can go into a planter bed right here. This could be mixed in with um, topsoil. And it smells amazing. But yeah, that's all. This is all broken down stuff that we've composted. <clears throat> we've made basically made our own dirt here from uh, there's rabbit rabbit poop, there's um, hay, there's leaves, there's um, sticks and all, st all sorts of stuff. So this has all been breaking down through the winter and you know some leftover from last summer and that this has all been breaking down and now that it's thawed and everything and our piles have started to heat up and break down, this is what we're getting out of it absolutely beautiful and then like i said there's still some chunky stuff in there we're gonna try and break it down this is our final stage right here which we have to make a bigger bin for because the other bins are completely full pretty much and we need a bigger bin for this one but this is our final stage we've got a three stage system that we've got going on um and this is what it looks like pretty much ready to go into planter bed and uh, this is kind of a secondary one that we've made. This is where we put our potatoes and everything. And uh, it's pretty much the same as the other one. So we've got um, our stage, our first stage. This is where all of our raw stuff, all of our chunky stuff and everything goes in. Um, when we clean out the chicken coop, this is where it goes. And then it gets broken down we turn it and this is actually pretty hot once we start turning it in the middle here uh, inside's pretty hot to the point where it's actually gray where things are kind of breaking down and and uh, make producing a lot of a lot of uh, heat and it's pretty cool to see and sometimes when you're turning it you'll actually kind of see um, I don't know if it's smoke or steam but we try to turn it so that we don't get a, a, too much heat built up. And then once we go from this, our stage one, once that stuff's broken down pretty decently, it's down here at the bottom, you can kind of see some of the stuff that's been down at the bottom for a while. It starts going, getting pretty wet and uh, kind of bl dark brown and, and black. Once it's um, broken down here at the bottom of this, we'll move the stuff from over there to here. And you can start seeing this stuff starting to break down quite nicely. Still pretty chunky and stringy and everything, but uh, it's breaking down quite nicely. And then we go from that to here. And then this stuff we'll leave here for a couple weeks and turn it and that and wait till it breaks down in the final stages. And then we'll place that into our beds. So uh, it's been working out quite well. We're actually to the point now where we may have to expand. Um, we're producing quite a bit of uh, compost and, and that uh, we we're talking about maybe having to expand or, or figure something out. Um, maybe we're to the point where we might have to try and sell some compost starting material or something like that to, to other people. But um, <clears throat> super simple. Um, yeah, uh, we may do, um, in the future, we may decide to throw together a, uh, composting class and, you know, write down some of the stuff that we've, we've learned and, uh, whatnot. We might offer a, a composting class, but, uh, that's with some other ideas that we have that, uh, we might, uh, try to execute here in the near future. But, uh, yeah, it's working great and our garden is uh, 
we're starting to get things planted. So stay tuned for more videos on that.